Hi, my name is Steven. In this video, I will show you how to create a transparent header inside of WordPress, just like this one right here. You can see here when we scroll down, the header will remain sticky on the top. Uh, let me log into WordPress and I will show you how you can do this for free using a free theme. Okay, so you can see that I've logged into another WordPress website. Uh, this is a demo site, so I'm going to be using this site to show you how you can do this on your website as well. You can see this is a website we're going to be working on. You can see that this website doesn't have a transparent header. You can see that this header is not sticky as well. So you can see if I scroll down here, you can see that the header is not sticky. So we're going to go ahead and transform this into a transparent header and also make it sticky on scroll. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to download the free theme. And the thing we're going to be using today is called the Cadence theme. It's, in my opinion, this theme is one of the best free theme available right now. So to get the theme, all you need to do is to go to your browser and type content ASP forward slash Cadence and click enter. I will also leave a link to this theme in the description box below. So once you're on this page, click download and it will ask you to enter your email but you can just say no thank you i just want to download the theme and click here as you can see here that the theme is downloaded so all you need to do now is to go back to add wordpress dashboard go to appearance click on themes and over here we just click on add new and then from here you can click on upload theme and choose the file that we just downloaded can see that I have it right here I'm just going to select it and open click install now and click activate over here so now that we have the theme activated if I go back to this website right here and uh, refresh it you can see that we have this kind of a mess right here and this is okay because uh, this entire website was built using an uh, Elementor. So the only thing that we're really going to work on right now is the header just to make it uh, transparent. And to do that, we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is just to get rid of this space right here uh, that says home. So we edit with Elementor. And over here, this little setting icon right here, click on it. And page layout, let's change it back to Elemental full width. And now you can see that the title here with the space is gone. So let's update this page. Then we can exit out of here. And now the next thing we need to do is to click on customize. So now that we're here, uh, what we need to do now is to so we, we want to work on the menu. So if you you can see here that we have the header over here so if you click on the header and here you want to select transparent header so let's enable transparent header now you can see that we already have transparent header here already but we can't really read the text because of the color so we can we can fix that in a minute okay so if we go back here we also want to make the transparent header sticky so Let's enable this sticky and select whole and select the whole header here. And then if you also want to make that sticky on mobile, you can select this as well. Over here, you can select the whole header. Let's publish that. Now, if you can see, if I scroll down here, you can see that we now have a sticky header right here. So all we need to do now is to uh, change the style and the color of this heading here and the logo over here so to do that you can do that by just navigating to the header over here but the easiest way to get there is just to click on this pencil right here and this is exactly where we need to be all you need to do you can select your header here but all we need to do is to design this so you click on design okay so this is where you can choose whether you want the full height or underline. So if you have the underline, you can see we get this line over here. 
when you hover over it or you can click on standard we don't get anything right now if you hover over these colors right here if we put the mouse over you can see this is the initial color so we can change that to white now you can see that we have white uh, menu over here and then you can see the hover color is blue so you can change that to pretty much any color that you want let's change that to green okay you can see that we have that and here is the active color so right now we're on the home page so you can't really see it because the active color it's the same color with the background so we can change this to uh, maybe green as well just for the sake of the tutorial okay so now you can see the active color over there and now you can play around with this if you have a drop down if you have a drop down on your website you may want to go under this drop down here and do the same setting here as well but since i don't have any drop down on this menu so i'm going to skip that for now and here we can do the same with the logo by just selecting this and i can go back here and select my logo okay okay right there that is the logo all right so we'll publish that you can see now that when we scroll down you can you can really read the test because the test is actually white and the background of the sticky header is white as well so we can go ahead and change the background of the sticky header and uh, change it to a different color to do that let's go back here and then we can go to sticky header and go to design now if we scroll down here you can see the sticky header background so if we select on that maybe we can change this to blue or whatever your side is just choose your side color and change it to whatever you want you can see now that we have a really nice uh, background over there if you want to add gradient color like like we have here on this one over here you can do the same by just selecting gradient color here you can select the point over here and put the color that you want and do the same over here and you can see that we have gradient color and you can also add more color by just selecting any point here you can add another color here if you want add a green color there this you can move around as well if you want I'm going to remove this uh, control point as well okay as you can see that's basically how you can add transparent header to uh, pretty much any website right you can easily change the theme if you are using another thing except if you are using the DV theme you can already do this with the DV theme so don't change the DV theme because if you uh, change the DV theme it's going to leave some short code which is not very uh, good so if you already have the DV theme you can do this with the DV theme so no need to change the theme but if you're using something like Astra or Ocean WP or any other theme you can pretty much change to Cadence theme to get all these functions for free so you can also see what this will look like on the mobile so here we have the mobile version here so you can see what it looks like on mobile over here so it's pretty good on the mobile so but we can uh, do some adjustment as well maybe we can change this hamburger icon to white so if we go back here select the hamburger icon you can change it to a different one and then we can go to design and we can change the color to white okay and we can make it bigger as well if we want maybe this big maybe 30 and if we can put it inside the border like this because i like it better that way and then if we go back here and refresh this page and now you can see that we have it like this and now this we can also change this background here so let's go back here we can do that here by going to the container here the drawer container 
we click on this drawer container option here we have the option to make it full width so we can make that full width and we can design it so the pop background here we can change it to uh, let's just stay blue for for now and publish this now if we go back here and refresh this now you can see that we have it all the way completely full and it's blue and we can go back and change this to another color if you wish okay let's refresh this again okay you can see right now that it's looking a lot better yes yeah, so you can see so another thing now is if you go to the next page you can see that we st we have this same problem here so all you need to do on every single page is edit with Elementor and go to this uh, signing icon here and change this back to Elementor full width that will automatically fix the problem as you can see now that uh, it's fixed so if I view the page here again okay now you can see that that is fixed already see so it's going to be the same for every single page so as you can see this is really really close to the menu here so what you can do is edit with elementor and add some padding over there so you can select this and then we can add go to advanced and then we can add more padding here maybe 150 or 160 that's fine now if we view this page again you can see that's looking a lot better or you can even add more as uh, padding if you want just add more space okay so it doesn't look way too close to the uh, menu over here okay so another good thing about this theme is that you can pretty much customize your header anyhow you want it uh you can see here let's go to header over here and you can see here that you have this awesome header builder here that you can it's, it's like drag and drop so you can pretty much move your logo to anywhere you want it you can move it to the middle over here you can see that the logo have moved to the middle or you can move this navigation bar over here if you want you can see that we now have the navigation over here you can move the logo over here so it's pretty cool how, what you can do with uh this theme this theme is really awesome so you can move this around and you can add more stuff so if you can see this icon over here you can see the icon over here or you can if you click on this general here you can see all these options here what you can add you can add a button by just dragging and dropping it here and now you can see that we have the button so we dropped it on the top row so you want to move it to the bottom row so it's on the same row with uh, this one so you can move it uh, all the way to the side over here if you want uh, is actually overlapping the logo so you can move that uh let's let's move this back over here so now you can see that we have this like this so i'm going to move this button back over here and then i'm going to move the logo here okay so you can move this here you can also move the navigation back over here go over here now you can see that we have it like this and if you want to add like social icons over here you can also drag this social icon here and just put it over there right and if you want to get rid of any of this just click on the x and delete it okay or you can add html code or something and put the code there and you can customize all these to whatever you want by just clicking on this pencil icon here and you can add the url link here for the button and then you can do the design here you can change it to smaller button large or you can custom size you can just set the uh, size yourself and you can change the color here if you hover over this you can see this is initial color so if you change it to uh, any color you want you can see that the button color over there it's white we can change the background to green if you want now we have a green background 
Okay. So that's pretty much what you can do with uh, this theme. So you can do a lot with this theme. And the same thing with the mobile version. So you can see here that we are editing the desktop version. So one thing to note is that everything that you add here will not show on the mobile one. So if we go to the mobile version here, you can see that we don't have the button and the social icon here. So here that we're on the mobile icon, you want to drag in whatever you want for the mobile icon in here as well. Or you can just simply click on this icon here and select what you want so you can add a button here. So now that we added the button here, you can see that the button is showing over here. We don't want the button over here. We want the button inside here. So what you do now is to drag this button and move it inside the mobile navigator here. So inside this mobile navigation here. So move it inside here. So now when we open this, you can see that we have the button in there. So you can also add more stuff inside. If you want to add social media icons, you can click on that. And now if you go back here, you can see that we have it here. You can click on this to just customize this what the way you want. Change the color, uh, change the background color if you want. Okay. You can see that we just change the color. We can change this color to white. Just change the color. You can pretty much play around with this. Change it back to anything you want. So that's pretty much how you can add uh, anything you want on your menu, uh, mobile menu or desktop menu. And you can customize it uh, to your wish. So the same thing goes with the footer. They have amazing footer builder as well, just like the header one. You can see here. As you can see, I'm not using the team footer, so I won't be uh, covering that. But if you are using the team footer, it's pretty much easy. It's the same way that you customize your header. Uh, just the way we did the header over here, just by dragging and dropping the elements inside the header builder. You can do the same with the footer here, just pretty much dragging what you want inside the inside the footer like that. It's not going to show if I do it on this website because I'm not using the theme footer. I'm actually using the uh, uh, this right here, so I'll show you what I'm using. I'm actually using the Elemental header footer and blocks. So this is what I'm using to create uh, the custom footer so i use this uh plugin right here to create a custom footer so you can also use this plugin to create a custom header as well but i i feel like this theme is actually more flexible than using this uh header here but i prefer using it to just to create the footer okay that's pretty much how you can create transparent header using this free cadence theme you can see that the menu is sticky on scroll and you can see see the menu over there so if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video.